What's up guys, we have an epic video for you today. So we're gonna do a text game breakdown of a hilarious interaction I had with a super bratty and annoying chick and you're gonna see how I handled all her shit and got her to come over and make sure you watch till the very end because there's gonna be a very big plot twist at the end that's gonna make the whole story very worth it. So the whole interaction is really fucking long. Like I've been texting this chick for months and I was trying to get her out and she was just so difficult. Like she would flake on me over and over again. She would constantly just give me shit tests and disappear on me and then randomly pop out of nowhere just to insult me. Uh, so, you know, if I did this interaction from the start, this video would be three hours long, right? But so I picked up near the end where I think things get really, really good. So again, leading up to this, she had flaked on me multiple times. She had ghosted on me multiple times. And largely the reason I was doing this is because I felt like it would be really good video content. Like sometimes I like to challenge myself with these text interactions to really just stretch how much you can accomplish with text game. Uh, so this is where it picks up. You seem like a little fuck boy, right? So there's gonna be the common pattern of her just constantly insulting me. I'm like, you're right, I should be a frustrated virgin. So the context is that I found out earlier that she was actually a virgin. But the really weird thing is that she was also a brat. So quite often you see girls who are virgins, but they're usually like nice and innocent. And then you have brats, right? But it's very rare that you have both of those eight qualities in one person, right? That's just kind of contradictory. Uh, she's like, there's always a middle ground. Well, you're like me, you always have an answer for everything. I'm like, high IQ problems. I'm not sure why you'd pursue a virgin when you're clearly very used to having sex. So here I'm just being honest. Well, I thought initially you wanted me to take your virginity, which is a, which I get asked from time to time, which is actually true. Like it does happen from time to time. Girls who are virgins who are like, oh, you seem very experienced. You know, I want to lose my virginity to a guy like you. And, you know, I occasionally I do it. She's like, haha, I see you think very highly of yourself. Do you think I waited 21 years for some random dude to take my virginity? Uh, so I'm like, no, clearly I should have realized you're on dating apps to just talk about it. And also the context is, is that she would sext me a lot, right? So she would like send me a sex and then when I wouldn't respond, she'd be like, oh, you're boring and stuff like that, right? And I'm just like not that interested in sexting chicks. I just find it largely a waste of time. So she's like, even if I didn't meet you, I'm not giving you what you want. So you shouldn't want to see me, although I'm hot. So that's always a pro. I'm like, unfortunately I couldn't magically read your mind. Told you now told you you couldn't handle me, smiley face. So this is the bratty side of her. You couldn't handle me. You're not ready for me. You can't handle my type of girl. That's what brats say. I'm like, you wanting to remain a prude has nothing to do with me not being able to handle you. I'm just not interested in being your little sex buddy. She's like, you clearly don't know what the word prude means. Want me to explain it to you slowly to you? So you can see she's quite condescending. I'm like, please do. I'm not fluent in virgin, so I just respond with sarcasm. She's like, a prude is someone who hardly ever does anything sexual. I do sexual things very often. I have no problem letting people shove their fingers in me, therefore I'm not a prude. I like her term of words here, shove their fingers inside of you, like as if that's supposed to be hot. Like not put their fingers inside of me, play with me, but shove their fingers inside of me. Uh, it's hard being smarter than most people. <laughs> I'm like, I know you're smart enough to trick God too. You got him on technicality. Uh, Cause earlier she told me that she was very religious. Even though I really doubt that. She's like, I'm smart in general. Oh, I can't sleep. I actually believe that you're not dumb. Correct. Why are you up? I'm always up late. Why? I'm a night, I'm a night owl. Call me then. Uh, I'm actually down to chat, but I'm at the gym right now. Bleh. <laughs> Next day, she hits me up at 10 a.m. Hi. And then two hours later, I'll see you. Then two hours later, forget it. I'm like, I was driving. She's like, okay. She's like, I said I'll see you unless you don't want me to. And like, honestly, like if you're a lady watching this video, like we men, we hate when women play these weird games, when they say something, they change it. Like if you either, you wanna hang out with a guy, just be upfront be like, hey, you know, I'm actually interested in meeting you. That's it, that's all you have to do. You don't have to be like bratty or, you know, kind of like act like in this way. It's just super annoying for guys when girls do this. Uh, let's do it, what's your schedule like? She's like, I can probably easily see you Thursday or next Wednesday. You're fine seeing me though, if we're, even though we're not gonna have sex. I'm like, Thursday night is good, don't worry, I actually hate sex. She's like, that's a lie. I guess we'll find out, but that's cool, no expectations. I'm just curious to see if you can handle me. Here we go with this again. I'm like, I have no idea what that means, but sure. I mean, it's not confusing. And then, la 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 la. I'm like, question mark. She's like, hi, I'm bored. I'm like, read a book. She's like, eh, you, I better not get my period before I see you because my boobs are hurting, so that means it's coming in the next few days. We men, we always love it when women talk about their periods before we ever met them. I'm like, let's keep our fingers crossed. Maybe today would be better. And then like a few hours later, all right, forget it. I'm like, you realize I have to work during the day, right? Can't just sit in my car, sit on my phone nonstop in case you text me. Tomorrow's better for me. I already made plans tonight. Uh, she's like, well, I usually get responses right away. So again, this goes back into the brat thing. I know you're probably used to a bunch of beta dudes who wait on your hand and foot. She's like, yep, and I love it. What's wrong with that? 
So she's fully conscious of the fact that a lot of men will simp for her and she's just used to teasing them and fucking, you know, manipulating them, all of that. I'm like, nothing for you, a lot for the guy. She's like, literally why? Many reasons, if you're that curious, I'll tell you tomorrow. Oh God, I don't know if I even wanna hear this. And then she double texts me, you're a little shit. <laughs> so I'm like, question mark, we were supposed to meet, you pulled there, insert her name. I'm like, now you know how it feels. So what she was talking about is that we loosely made plans to hang out, but then I wound up getting pink eye and I just didn't f really follow up with her. Uh, fine, okay, whatever. I'm like, uh, she's like, yes, I do. I can't even be mad, lol. In all honesty, I got pink eye, so that's why I didn't follow up. Should be gone in a few days. It's not like I flayed with her. I just never followed up. And then she sends me a video of her in case you forgot I was hot. Hey, if you guys enjoyed the content on this channel, then make sure you hit the like button, hit subscribe, and click that bell for notification. So here I just deny her validation. So when a girl is seeking validation, you don't want to give her all the validation. You just want to give her a tiny amount. So uh, I say, you are question mark. She's like, what you doing tonight? I'm like, just chilling, what's up? I have plans now, but you, do you want to hang out later if it's not too late? I'm like, sure, around what time are you thinking? So I'm gonna go to dinner, so I'm not sure what time will be done, but I can text you after. I'm like, uh, one of these. Uh, I'm like, ah, and then she texts me, ah, I didn't think it would be take that long, so here's her like kind of flaking on me. I'm like, it's cool, I'll be free later tomorrow night, okay. Ugh, you could have been rubbing my clit by now. <laughs> I'm like, well, I'm not the one who ran late, and then her, it wasn't my fault in all caps. So again, typical like entitled bratty behavior where nothing is ever the girl's fault. I'm like, of course not. She's like, it wasn't, you little shit. Uh, so just <laughs> keep in mind how many times she insults me. I'm like, pipe down, virgin. She's like, my nickname is now virgin. And then I take a screenshot of her thing. And uh, I mean, her name and then virgin uh, bumble, right? So I put it in there. And again, like when a girl's giving you shit like that, you don't want to respond by like getting argumentative or insulting her. You just insult, you just respond with sarcasm. You just let it roll off your shoulders. Like it doesn't bother you. She's like, are you shitting me? Literally, why? Why not? Why is it such an important factor to you that it has to be my contact name? And then uh, a few hours later, let me know if you're seeing me tonight, otherwise I'll make other plans. So I respond, I'm like, yeah, let's link up. And then I follow up, what time will you be free? She's like, you took two hours to respond, so I made other plans. Literally took me like two hours to respond. Like, I'm like, oh geez, I was sleeping. You know, making plans with you is 100 times harder than making plans with other people. And I guess you guys didn't see the earlier screenshots, but this has been the pattern over and over and over again. Just her being so difficult to make plans with and making this so much harder than it needs to be. Okay, but I wasn't gonna not have plans tonight because I was waiting on you. You've many, you've many times not answered me. Uh, and then she double texts, it sucks because I shaved my vagina and it was so smooth yesterday. Like what? I'm like, lol, but that's fine. Seems like we're never meeting. I'm like, that part is complete on you. I've tried many times with you. I'm like, nah, you text me to hang out. And then when I say yes, you just make some excuse a few hours later, like last night or the night before. She's like, nope, you didn't answer me for hours as you often do. I wasn't gonna be left without plans. So I made other ones. I had dinner that night and I was upfront about it from the beginning, but I even got to the dinner I'll let you know. I'm like, because I was sleeping, if you notice, I don't reply in the afternoon. There's a reason for that. On Friday night, you just texted me, well, my dinner ran late, so sorry. She's like, so you're just going back and forth because it's true, my dinner did run late. If I didn't want to see you, I'd just say, hey, I don't want to see you, I'm pretty blunt. I'm not saying you're lying, but I, you are extremely flaky and difficult to make plans with. So yeah, with bratty girls, you gotta hold, call them accountable. Like, you can't just let shit slide. You just gotta call shit out. She's like, all right, and so are you. Uh, I never know when you're gonna ignore me, so I make other plans. If you, I get answered for hours, it makes complete sense. Um, like me ignoring you is me sleeping or working usually. If we make plans, you don't need to confirm every few hours. Uh, she's like, we didn't make solid plans though. How should I know that? So back and forth. Uh, I'm like, okay, why don't we try making solid plans then for when? When are you free next? Tomorrow should be or Wednesday. Technically I can't tonight, but you're probably busy. So here, I'm like, actually, I can do tonight. How's not perfect? What should I wear? Nothing. She's like, lol, shut up. I'm like, lol, all right, the leather assless chaps it is then. So I'm just being playful. Address it is, are you sure you're not a killer? Yes, I'm quite confident in that. Where should we meet? So I send the name of a bar. Uh, she's like, okay, I can't stay for our like too long though because I have work tomorrow. All good, I'll have you home before you turn into a pumpkin. And here he, she's like, again, and we're not having sex. So here I just respond with humor. She's like, ugh, I'm like, ugh, fine, blow job it is. Which is a joke I've used many times. She's like, El Mefeo, we'll see. I can't explain to you how the least hot thing is someone asking for a blow job. Like now I definitely won't. And to me, like at this point, I'm just like so turned off with this girl. Like just her attitude, her brightness. Yes, she's attractive, but like just also her demandingness and just the fact that she constantly keeps insulting me and flaking on me and shit. And just like the last straw was her saying, uh, you know, uh, you know, basically being like, oh, we're not having sex, and I'm not giving you a blowjob, and this, and that. 
And I'm like, oh, fuck this chick. So I'm like, I can't explain to you how the least hot thing is someone giving me a whole bunch of conditions before we even meet. My virginity is important to me. It makes sense. I'm confirming. If you want to meet me, let me know. I'm like, you don't need to confirm every 30 minutes with me. I said I was in. Okay, I'm going to leave now. I'm very confused where to park. She's like, I'm like, oh, there's plenty of street parking. I parked in the garage thing. I'm going to walk now. Uh, five minutes, is it near or in the W? I'm like, yep, it's in the W. She's like, okay, I'm here. I'm waiting. And here I'm like, you know what? Fuck this shit. Why am I doing this to myself? So I respond with, on second thought, since I'm a little shit, I might just stay home. And then she confirms my response. She's like, well, Emma, I'm going to kill you. Yeah, five minutes, you little shit. And when she said that, I'm like, yeah, no. So I'm like, well, you just made my decision a lot easier. Good idea. She's like, are you serious? I came all the way here and it wasn't close. Uh, I'm like, well, let this be a reason to be nicer to people. She responds with, wow. So that is pretty much payback. I would normally, under any circumstance, never flake on a girl because uh, I think that's fucked up. But I think this chick well deserved it. Like her just constantly insulting me and being bitchy. But I think all the text game principles still apply. Like absolutely. Like you can see that with a bratty chick who's constantly texting you, what you want to do is you want to be very non-reactive. You want to hold your frame, right? You want to just basically also not let shit slide. Call her out on her shit, but in a non butthurt non-aggressive way. That's how you would handle that. And then it's up to you to decide if you really want to go through with the date or not. In this situation, I realized that like, you know, like I don't need to get laid that bad. Like I'd rather just spend my time sitting at home, hanging out with my friends or doing work than I do spending time with this girl who's just, you know, being a shitty person. So hopefully this is a nice little lesson to her. And I think there's a lot of valuable lessons, text game lessons for everyone to absorb. All right, hopefully you guys found this video valuable and I do want to reiterate, I am not advocating flaking on girls. You know, I think flaking, generally speaking, is very fucked up, but I think in this one circumstances, it was somewhat warranted. Anyway, show us some love by smashing the like button, hitting subscribe, and click the bell for notification. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time.